Hello and welcome to Red Stapler channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a responsive Google style login form using materialized framework in just a few minutes. Let's check it out. Material design is a design principle created and designed by Google for all their products and applications. In this tutorial, we are going to use materialized front end framework that is based on Google material design. To start using Materialize, you can download the files and include it to your project or just use CDN. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a letter option. Here is the example page with flex layout to center everything on the screen. Now let's talk about the input field structure of Materialize. To utilize the framework, first you need to create a wrapper for every input field with an input field class. Then the input element itself and then a label. You must assign an ID to an input and set the four attribute of the label to that ID. The animation will not work if you do not follow this rule. So now I'm going to add an email input field to our example page. I will also add validate class to the input to utilize the HTML5 validation. So the field will change the color to green for valid email address or red if it's invalid. Now I'm going to create a box to put our input field inside. I will set the max width, padding, and rounded border. I'm using max width instead of just width to make the form resizable for mobile devices. Now before we work on the rest of the fields, let's look at the grid structure of Materialize. For every grid row, Materialize will divide them into 12 columns regardless of the size. Then you can specify the size of the element by adding col class and S followed by the number of the columns. For example, element width S6 is going to have a half size for that row. So I'm going to wrap the input inside the row and set the size to S12. Then I'm going to create another input for a password. Now I'm going to start adding informative text on the form like Google does. Now I want this text to be on the center of the form. Materialize has an alignment helper class for this job. Simply add center align class to the row element and that's it. Next we are going to work on a button. Materialize already have built in button component by simply add btn class to a link. You can also add click effect by adding wave effect and wave light classes. Now if you look at the Google's form, you will see that create account link and a button share the same row with half size each. We can do the same by setting the size to S6 for both.
almost finished. Now I'm going to add a website logo to the top of the form. I'm going to set the background image, size and 50% body radius to create a circle. Also margin zero auto to center it. Finally, I will add a blank row between the last row to create spacing. And here is the final result. This is only a little demonstration of Materialize. There are lots more features available. Check the documentation on the project page and try it. And that's it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see more development tips and tutorial videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for updates. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.